Hey guys, welcome to the Setup Scientist channel. My name is Chris, and today I am going to be building a $500 budget gaming computer. Let's get right into it. <laughs> lol, I don't have one. So here we are. I have my MSI B350 Gaming Plus gaming motherboard, and in it I am putting my Ryzen 5 1600X 6 core 6 thread CPU. Base clock of this is 3.6 gigahertz. Here I have my thermal piece, which I'm attempting to put on in a cross fashion, however, I did then realize that there isn't any left, as you see me very much struggling to try and get some out. Uh, that is the Noctua NT-H1 thermal paste, one of my favorites. Here we have my Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim uh, CPU heatsink. It fits quite a range of socket types, and as you can see here, it kind of has like a latch system on it, which means you can't over tighten it. As I'm sure many of you are going to be quick to tell me, Yes, I know it is upside down, however, I am only realizing that now, and I did not fix it. It doesn't actually matter. Yes, I personally would rather have it the other way around, and I'm sure most of you would with your OCD, however, it's done. So, oops. Once the heatsink is installed, I just need to attach the fan onto the bottom and attach it using the clips that are included. It's a very simple process, uh, just use a bit of force, and it goes on no bother. Next we have the RAM, this is Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 3000MHz RAM, I have two 8GB sticks, so for a total of 16GB. Uh, I know that's probably not a lot in some people's cases, however it's more than enough for what I use it for. When you're installing the RAM, make sure that the sticks are around the right way and make sure the clips are pushed out and that whenever you install the RAM, if it doesn't click, you haven't pushed hard enough. Here is a side view of the RAM going in, you can see the clips that are pushed out at the start and then whenever you push the RAM in and give it a good push, the clips then click into place. Next we move on to installing the case fans. Now I have Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 fans, I have two of them to go on the front of the case. They are both 140 millimeter fans. The fans are going into my Cooler Master Masterbox 5 Lite case. It is quite cheap, it's very sturdy, and it's made of good materials for the price of it. However, there are some problems in terms of cable management and airflow into the case, which I will get into further in the video. Top tip for when installing case fans, don't tighten the screws in fully at first. This means that if the fan moves, you can reposition it before tightening it fully. Next step, simply pop in the IO shield, making sure it is the right way round. I have made that mistake many times. Next step, have a fight with your exhaust fan cable before trying to get your motherboard in. I, I was actually ready just to rip it out of the case. Slowly lower your motherboard into the case, making sure it lines up with all the standoffs in the bottom of the case, and make sure it lines up with the IO shield on the side of the case as well. Make sure you don't drop it, make sure you don't scrape it, protect it like your newborn child. And then screw all the screws into the bottom of the case, through the motherboard, making sure it is in tight. Don't tighten them in too far or else you might damage your motherboard. First cable I connect is the USB 3.0 connector, which was strangely difficult to get in and out. I don't really know why, but it was. Then I go on to add in my case fan connectors. Then the audio connector. And then finally I put in the, the front IO connectors, which always confuse me. I don't know why, they just do. installing my hard drive. Uh, I have a Seagate Barracuda uh, 7200 RPM 1 terabyte drive. It studs in the Wii connector, keep it in place and just slides straight in. Um, I also have two SSDs, one which I've already installed below that which you can't see. Uh, however it is a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD. Here I am installing my second SSD which is a 240 gigabyte SanDisk SSD and it sits in the front because it is better. No, there's no other reason, it is just better. Onto the SATA cables, I have three of them, obviously for my three drives. 
one end is flat, one end is angled. I just find this much easier to install. It just makes it look cleaner. The cables go hide easier and it's just nice. Here's a bit of cable management. Yes, I'm gonna end up having to probably redo all this again. However, it's I just like even tidy as it go. It's just personal preference. I'm sure most of these are probably the same. Here's me installing my Reaper cables, the red and carbon. Shout out to Reaper cable for sending these over. I absolutely love them. They make the keys look so much better. They look the whole PC look so much better, so much cleaner. And I don't know what I have done for the past two years without them. Now, what probably most of you have been waiting for, here's my graphics card. I have an Asus RX 580. This is the four gigabyte version. If you have it, make sure you push the wee clip down before you install it. I install it into my top PCI slot, push it in, make sure the clip clicks just like the RAM and uh, make sure all the, the holes line up for whenever you're screwing it in. Also make sure to take out your PCIe brackets first because it won't go in otherwise. Then as always just screw it in. Last but not least I have my power supply. I have a Corsair CX680 plus bronze rated power supply. It's quite very easy to install, slot it in the back, four screws to hold on the PSU bracket and then there's just another two screws to attach that to the back of the case. My power supply is technically upside down, however the fan is at the top. I have the air vent at the bottom, which allows uh, more air to be drawn up. Here are the Reaper cables. They're just PSU extension leads, so you just clip them in, attach them in as you would normally. I don't, <laughs> I don't actually know how I managed it, but here I am attaching the 24 pin, which you've already seen being connected into the motherboard. So here it is again, I guess. Just attaching the power to the hard drives and SSDs and then I just tuck whatever whatever part of the cable I don't need into the gap that I have between the power supply and the hard drive cage. Uh, this just saves me a lot of space. Uh, it's really the only space that I have for these cables to go. I'm glad I have it or else my cable management would be far worse than it actually is. I am now just attaching the cable into the front of the graphics card, making sure it looks all pretty. Did all that work and realized that it actually looked better going through the bottom, which is something that you'll probably find. If you do your own gaming PC, you'll probably do it over and over and over again just until you have it the way you like it. Here's me doing whatever kilo management I possibly can, just try and make it look nice, try and get it as flat as possible so the back will go on. I'm very limited as to what space I have, there isn't much space there, there's not much I can do in terms of kilo management. Um, I get it the best I can, which is all you can do. Just slide on the back panel, it's quite simple. Well, it is simple if you actually put it on the right way, which as you can see, I was an idiot and didn't. Do as I say, not as I do. There's just two thumb screws at the back. Once it's slid on, which is sometimes easier said than done. And that is that, done. I actually have individual dust filters that I bought off of Amazon, uh, just to keep as much dust out of the PC as possible. Uh, you'd be surprised how much it actually collects, even though the room is clean, or what you think is clean. And voila, that is it done. All parts have successfully been put into the case. As you can see, it looks very fancy. Obviously this is a budget build, so it's not going to be as amazing and as cool looking as it could possibly be. I currently don't have any uh, RGB lights in it, fans aren't RGB, it's not water cooled. It, I could spend so much more money trying to make it look as cool as possible, but uh, for the fact that this is only a $500 DC, I think it's absolutely amazing. Finally, all that needs done is the front side panels to go onto it, which in this case is just uh, plastic. Put the front panel on. As you can see, it just needs clipped on. I currently have red on it, but the case that I have actually comes with red, white, and black, so you can choose whatever colors you want. And that is it. 
all very nice shiny outside reflecting everything don't look at my setup because that is coming in a future video just close your eyes don't look at that bit and that is the pc finally done so all that's left to say is thank you so much guys for watching the video if you actually made it this far if you enjoyed the video like the video subscribe to the channel for if you want some more content also check out my instagram at setup scientist it will be linked in the description and i will see you next time